If you've been tuned in to any of our social media channels or website over the last seven years, then you probably were familiar with Power Packs with Pastor Bull. For over 300 episodes, the late Pastor Robin Gould blessed us with powerful words of encouragement, admonition, and wisdom almost every weekend at noon. Well, just this week, the recently installed Pastor Marlon Gould shared a special message on her blog, The Throne Room, entitled Ending the Throne Room Blog and Beginning a New Chapter. Be sure to check it out here. This new chapter includes the start of a special all-new segment by Pastor Marlon entitled Light Snack. Psalm 119, 130 says, The entrance of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. Let's join Marlon Gu for a light snack designed to help you get an understanding of God's word. Matthew 25, 31 to 34 says, When the Son of Man comes in His glory and all the holy angels with Him, then He will sit on the throne of His glory. All the nations will be gathered before Him and He will separate them one from another as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. And He will set the sheep on His right hand, but the goats on the left. Then the King will say to those on His right hand, Come, you blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Verse 41 says, Then he will also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Let's start understanding why Jesus used sheep and goats in the illustration found in Matthew 25. First, sheep are dependent on their shepherd, while goats are independent and rebellious. Although sheep can stray away and have to be rescued by their shepherd, they generally tend to stay with the flock. Goats are curious and have no problem going off on their own. Obviously, the sheep are used in Matthew 25 to represent the people the Heavenly Father will choose to be with Him forever. When we read the entire context, we will see what Jesus said the sheep people and the goat people do differently. But understanding the difference between the two creatures will help us see why the Lord's people are referred to as sheep in other passages. It will also help us to examine ourselves to see if we are behaving like the Lord's people or the other group. Thank you for joining us for this Light Snack.